Hi and welcome back. My name is Aaron and I'm the creator here at 3 Tails RV. On this video we're going to show you how we installed a domestic refrigerator in our RV. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is take out the old refrigerator unit. Turn off the propane to your RV. Now from the outside of your RV, locate the access panel for your refrigerator. Open and locate your RV propane line connected to your refrigerator and disconnect the propane line from your unit. Now it's time to install a propane terminator. Turn back on the propane and check for leaks. Now locate the 12 volt wire on the back of your refrigerator. It should have two wires with one white and one black connected to the back of the refrigerator. With a screwdriver, unsecure and release each wire and cap with a wire nut. Finally, unplug the refrigerator from the 110 service. While in the access panel, check for any screws that may be holding the unit in and remove them. Next, go back into the coach and look for along the outside edge of the refrigerator for any screws holding the unit in place and remove them. Ensure that you check under the compartment access panel for any additional screws. Now it's time to remove the refrigerator. While in the RV, pull the refrigerator unit towards you and using a rocking motion, pull the refrigerator out. This may take a little bit of effort and a little patience, but the unit will come out. Once that is complete, place it on the floor standing upright. Now it's time to maneuver it over to the door and slowly lower it out to the concrete. This was a little tight on our rig, but it came straight out. Now that the refrigerator is out, it's time to do some cleaning in the area. The yellow fiberglass insulation that was adhered to the back wall only was hardly enough for my taste. Next we measured the three walls and cut the half inch white foam insulation. Using contractor's glue, we attached them to the walls and then taped up the seams with Reflectix 2 inch tape. Out with the old and with the new. To get the new refrigerator into the RV, we had to remove the two doors. Moved it up and into position and it slid right into the space. I went back outside, plugged in the 120 outlet and it started right up. Then we finished the install by adding some insulation to the top and bottom areas. Installed some trim and added two fastener bolts to the metal frame of the refrigerator and into the base compartment. Thanks for following along with us today. We hope that you found this interesting and informative. Please remember to subscribe and if you like this give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends and comment below. For more information about today's video check us out on our blog page at 3 RV at blogspot.com. Until next time, remember, wherever the road takes you, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride.